This is Lloyd Austin, the Secretary of Defense of the United States. Not even two weeks into the new year, the Biden administration has yet another scandal to deal with, all thanks to Mr. Austin. On January 5th, the Pentagon released a statement that Secretary Austin was admitted to Walter Reed Medical Center due to complications following a recent elective medical procedure. Now, to most people, elective medical procedure sounds minor. Was Secretary Austin receiving a gastric band implant? An ingrown toenail removed? Was it LASIK eye surgery? Breast implants? I mean, you never know with this administration. But it turns out that Secretary Austin, back in early December, was diagnosed with prostate cancer. And on December 22nd, he underwent a prostateectomy. And for some reason, the Pentagon didn't inform anyone in the White House, nor did they bother to tell the Deputy Defense Secretary Kathleen Hicks. But then, on the evening of January 1st, Secretary Austin was experiencing complications and was rushed via ambulance back to Walter Reed and was admitted to the intensive care unit. There, doctors discovered that Austin had a urinary tract infection and abdominal fluid collections that were impairing the function of his small intestines. So the next day, on January 2nd, Secretary Austin's top staffers and the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff were informed that Secretary Austin was in the hospital. And this is where it starts to go off the rails. Deputy Defense Secretary Hicks, who was in Puerto Rico on vacation, was informed via email that she would be taking on Secretary Austin's duties. However, she wasn't told that Secretary Austin was in the hospital. In fact, Deputy Secretary Hicks and Jake Sullivan, Biden's national security advisor, weren't told that Austin was hospitalized on the 1st until January 4th. And apparently, one of the reasons for the delay is that Austin's chief of staff, Kelly Magsiman, had the flu or something. You can't make this stuff up, guys. So the real question is, when was Joe Biden made aware that Lloyd Austin was in the hospital? Here's John Kirby to explain. Jake was informed, our national security advisor was informed that Secretary Austin was in the hospital and had been for some time. He found out late Thursday afternoon and he informed, he and the chief of staff, Mr. Zients, informed the president later that evening, early that evening, not long after they learned. They informed the president directly. So for clarity, the defense secretary was admitted to the hospital on Monday, January 1st. Joe Biden didn't notice that he was gone and wasn't told he was in the hospital until the evening of Thursday, January 4th. The next day, Austin released a statement personally acknowledging the event saying, I am very glad to be on the mend and look forward to returning to the Pentagon soon. I also understand the media concerns about transparency and I recognize that I could have done a better job ensuring the public was appropriately informed. I commit to doing better. I could have done a better job. <laughs> he didn't even make a low effort attempt to inform the public. Hell, he didn't even tell the commander in chief. Not only is all of this embarrassing, but it's dangerous. And Joe Biden fired him on the spot, right? Right? Well, according to Politico, Biden didn't even speak to Austin until the evening of January 6th. This was reportedly a cordial conversation. But apparently, during that cordial conversation, Secretary Austin neglected to tell Joe Biden why he was in the hospital. Walter Reed said that he was diagnosed with a cancer last month. So just to confirm, the president did not know the diagnosis or that he was hospitalized. No, he, did, he was informed. The president was informed, as the admiral just stated, the president was informed today about the uh, prostate cancer. So again, to be clear, Austin went into the hospital on January 1st and didn't tell Joe Biden why he was in the hospital for eight days. Eight days! And let's just think about this for a minute. Joe Biden spoke to one of his employees who was in the hospital and didn't ask why he was in the hospital. But then again, it's possible that Austin did try and tell him and couldn't get in a word edgewise. Mr. President, I'm calling you from a bed at Walter Reed Medical Center. Uh, I was in the Walter Reed, you know, years ago. Not a joke. Doctors allow you to live 
Nurses make you want to live. And that's not hyperbole, that's a fact. Mr. President, the reason I'm here and is that- my son Bo was there when he had cancer. But you wouldn't know anything about cancer, huh, pal? But regardless, what's so f***ing weird about all of this is that cancer has affected Joe Biden's family so profoundly that if Secretary Austin told Biden that he had cancer, Biden would have been super understanding, right? But then again, Joe Biden didn't even bother to ask Secretary Austin why he was in the hospital. Normally, that lack of curiosity would be stunning, but we all know that Joe Biden is a selfish f**k who only cares about himself, so I don't know. We learned also today that um, Secretary Austin, when he went into the hospital for the first time on December 22nd, he knew he was going to be under general anesthesia, he knew he was going to be spending the night, and transferred um, authority to his deputy secretary. Was the White House informed then that, author that the authority was going to be transferred? No. Remember when the mainstream media was like, the bad orange man is gone. Now the adults are back in charge. The Biden administration will be the most transparent in history. Well, that was complete bullshit. The president believes in, and has since the beginning of the administration that transparency with the American people is really important. Um, and he knows being a public figure for his entire life that as a public figure, um, you have uh, an added burden to be as transparent about your personal situation as possible. So does he believe that Secretary Austin should have been able to keep this specific detail private? Uh, I'm not going to get inside the president's head on, uh, on, uh, on that particular right to privacy on this particular issue. So on one hand, Kirby's like, Joe Biden feels that transparency is super important. But on the other hand, he's like, I don't know how Joe Biden feels about Austin's lack of transparency. Uh, obviously, his first and foremost concern is the secretary's health and recovery and making sure that he has the time and the space and gets the medical care that he needs. So Joe Biden's first and foremost concern isn't how this all affects our national security. Got it. And remember, Joe Biden didn't ask Austin basic questions like, why are you in the hospital? So how concerned do you think he actually is? Now, Secretary Austin wrote the following in his statement. But this is important to say, this was my medical procedure, and I take full responsibility for my actions about disclosure. And as far as the White House and President Biden is concerned, Secretary Austin did an oopsie and took responsibility. Case closed. We have said this many times, is that uh, Secretary Austin put out a statement taking full responsibility of, um, of what we has unfolded over the last couple of days, and the president appreciates that. One of the things that's so important, and uh, we don't see this enough in, these, in today's world, is for someone to take responsibility. Is for someone to actually say, I made a mistake and I take full responsibility. And I think that's important here. The president respects that he took full responsibility for it in his statement. Uh, that, uh, that, that, it makes a difference. Secretary Austin put out a statement and he took full responsibility for this. He takes full responsibility for the decisions he made with respect to this procedure. He takes full responsibility for that. I'm going to speak to the action of taking responsibility here, and I think that's important. The Secretary of Defense himself took full responsibility in his statement over the weekend. I mean, he had put it on his shoulders. So, Secretary took full, full responsibility. I think that is important to note. We appreciate that he's taken full responsibility and he's taken responsibility and I think that's important here as well. And the thing is, as commander in chief, Joe Biden should have an opinion on whether anyone should be held to account, right? Right? Does the president believe that there ought to be any consequences for any DOD officials who knew about the condition of Secretary Austin but did not report that information? That's going to be up to, that's going to be up to Pentagon leadership to decide. Well, what does the president believe? I mean, he's the commander in chief. The president believes that Secretary Austin should get the appropriate care that he needs to get better so he can get back at work at the Pentagon. He believes we ought to learn from this. Lloyd Austin was not transparent to his staff or the White House and therefore threatened the national security of the United States. What more is there to learn here? What kind of commander in chief is President Biden that at a time when American forces are under fire in the Middle East, he can go days without knowing that his 
defense secretary is in a hospital bed. Why should we believe anything that this administration tells us about anything ever again? What happened here is the Secretary of Defense, uh, for whatever reason, I can't answer the question why, uh, that information wasn't shared. It wasn't shared widely in the department, and it worse? certainly wasn't shared with you the United States. It's, it's not good. So the White House can't tell you why Secretary Austin didn't let anyone know what was going on, which means they didn't ask. It's certainly not good, which is why, again, we want to learn from this. We want to, we want to make sure that it doesn't happen again. We need to make sure this never happens again. This is so dumb. There are already strict protocols in place to make sure that the chain of command remains intact and those protocols were broken. But instead of reprimanding or scolding Austin, they're praising him for a job well done. And so he has done a, a really uh, a stellar job in that, in that position. The president appreciates the job that he's done. Oh sure, he's done a stellar job. Like allowing a Chinese spy balloon to traverse the entire United States and his role in the chaotic withdrawal of our troops in Afghanistan where 13 service members were killed in a terror attack or when the DOD claimed that we droned two high profile ISIS K targets when in reality it was 10 civilians including seven children. And let's not forget the tens of billions of dollars in military equipment that we left behind to the Taliban. The White House seemingly has no interest in holding anyone to account for any of those blunders, which means that Secretary Lloyd Austin isn't going anywhere. And I had uh, these terrible headaches, was diagnosed with having a, a uh, anyway, they had to take the top of my head off a couple times, <laughs> see if I had a brain, but I, all kidding aside, Anyway, that's it for now. Follow me on Exit Don't Walk Run, and while you're at it, subscribe to the channel. As always, thanks for tuning in, and I hope to see you next time, if there is next time.